I'm in my Tesla on autopilot going 40 miles an hour towards a fake Wiley Coyote Roadrunner painted wall. Please stop. Please stop. Holy, holy hell. Did you just see that? That's not some random Tesla critic trying to make Elon look bad. That's Mark Rober, former NASA engineer, YouTube science guru, and all around tech enthusiast, absolutely terrified as his Tesla on autopilot barrels straight towards a wall without slowing down. Art have the lowest probability of injury of any cars ever tested by the US government. Wow. And folks, the timing couldn't be worse for America's most online billionaire. Tesla stock has plummeted a staggering 48% since January. Musk has personally lost 148 billion in net worth. And just last week, in a move that reeks of desperation, he convinced the President of the United States to turn the White House lawn into a used car lot. So, so what is this one, Elon? Uh, that's the model line. I love Tesla. But here's a problem that no amount of White House infomercials can fix. Tesla's self-driving technology is evidently fundamentally dangerous. And Mark Rober just proved it with a series of six brutal tests. <laughs> Mark begins by explaining that Tesla relies on camera to inform its self-driving capabilities. It famously only relies on simple cameras to navigate the world, as opposed to much more expensive tech. While other manufacturers use LiDAR systems, that is, light detection and ranging. The reason it works so well is because it's updating that point cloud of 640,000 laser measurements every second to the brain of this car, showing exactly what's in front of it. So, 640,000 laser measurements per second second versus some cameras that, as we'll get to, can't tell the difference between a road and a brick wall. Because when it comes to technology that could kill your family, why not go with the cheaper option? Or have the lowest probability of injury of any cars ever tested by the US government. Wow. So Mark set up six tests, with the first simply being a crash dummy representing a child standing in the middle of the road. He began with the LiDAR car and, well, no issues. Okay, so we're starting out with a car with the LiDAR, and it turned out <laughs> that's all it needed. Then Mark tested the Tesla's automatic emergency braking system, and this happened. And with just simple cameras, the Tesla was speeding fast. Oh no. But did detect the kid. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh, no. Just not in time to fully hit the brakes. Oh no. Yeah. That's not gonna help Elon von Musk, is it? <laughs> With Tesla's emergency braking system failing hard, Mark tried the autopilot. You can see here on autopilot, it actually stopped in time. Good. Tesla passed the simplest of promises it makes. Bravo. For the second test, Mark had a child dummy suddenly run into the road, which both passed. And impressively, it stopped with plenty of room to spare. Good job, Tesla. So there's the easy tasks done and dusted. Tesla's emergency braking system failed, but its autopilot seemed pretty great at perfect lighting. But then came the not so easy situations, starting with fog. We plunged through the fog, coming to a very sudden break. Hey! The LiDAR car saw through the fog and stopped. Brilliant. What about Tesla? Would the kid look just as cool after the Tesla test? Oh, 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 fudge! Oh, I mean, Slobo does make everything look sort of cool, but that wasn't the only shot. I actually hit the brakes there. That was on autopilot? The cameras didn't even hit the brakes at all. Didn't even hit the brakes at all. Damn, my dudes, damn. That's not good. So Tesla's advanced AI couldn't see a child through fog. I mean, really let that land, right? Tesla's advanced AI couldn't see a child through fog. Something that most humans can do. Something $20,000 economy cars can do with basic sensors. But Elon's too busy selling Teslas on the White House lawn rather than fixing this deadly flaw, ain't he? It's like driving a golf cart, basically. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Very simple. It's very simple. So it's, it's literally like a golf cart that goes really fast. Yeah, really fast, Elon. And it doesn't break when there's a kid in fog. Oh, 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 fudge! <laughs> Next up, Mark tested his cars in another common weather condition. 
heavy rain. See, the Tesla can see the kid, but as soon as it starts raining, the kid is gone. And it was similar in the LiDAR car, where you first got a clear image of the kid and the shadow. And once we started the hose, oh, you see all the water going in. LiDAR might struggle here. Now, can you guess what happened with the Tesla? Did the self-proclaimed super duper safe Musk machine beat the LiDAR car? Well, the LiDAR went first. Okay, here we go. And as the wall of water started, LiDAR seemed to not slow down at all. Oh boy. <laughs> Until the last possible second. Another W. Another W indeed. LiDAR is looking pretty damn delicious, I have to admit. Next up, the SS Safety Swastika. It was time to see if Tesla could as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Sadly, it did not. That's not good. That's really not good. You've seriously got to digest this. While Tesla stocks are falling off a cliff, Tesla's autopilot failed to break in weather conditions that regularly occur, while superior technology did just fine. I love Tesla. Considering just how famous Mark is, this is, make no mistake about it, an absolute PR nightmare for Elon. I love Tesla. All right. Tesla's self-driving technology fails in rain and fog. Rain and fog, two of the most common weather conditions on planet Earth. But I'm happy to say that it works in bright light. And when it pulled to a stop, okay, we stopped for the kid with the bright light. A W for the Tesla. Finally, Mark wanted to test whether the technologies can recognize a painted wall, Wiley e. Coyote style. And as for the LiDAR, it isn't looking at what image is printed on the wall. So this sort of just looks like a wall, which would make this the easiest test of the day. And as I suspected, <sighs> handled it with no problem. But the Tesla, as you saw at the beginning, was fooled. And so Mark smashed into the wall, which is not good. And as the wall crept closer and closer without moving an inch, Holy crap. the question was if the Tesla would detect it in time to step on the brakes. And it turned out... Holy me. <laughs> So I can definitively say for the first time in the history of the world, Tesla's optical camera system would absolutely smash through a fake wall without even a slight tap on the brakes. Damn, not even a slight tap. Let that sink in. Tesla's self-driving technology would drive full speed into a wall. A wall. All Mark's team had to do was paint the wall to look like a road. And then, bam, Wiley e. Coyote straight into it. This is what hundreds of thousands of people are trusting with their lives on the road every day. So when you see Tesla stock in freefall, this is why. It's not just Musk throwing Nazi salutes. It's not just Musk retweeting anti-Semitic conspiracies. It's not just Musk hanging out with far-right parties. It's that the emperor has no clothes, and that we can see clearly, thanks to Mark, that Tesla has no ability to see walls or fog or rain. Now, you might be thinking, if Tesla is this unsafe, surely there have been accidents, right? Well, yes. There's been plenty. The National Highway Traffic Safety Admission investigated 956 crashes in recent years, with its autopilot being involved in at least 13 fatal crashes. Four crashes occurred in sun glare, airborne dust, and fog, with the latter being evident from Mark's tests. Test. Oh, 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 fudge! <laughs> but will the US government actually act to save its children? Well, for years, Tesla has been under the microscope of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. But guess what? This very administration has been downsized by Musk as part of his federal workforce cuts. Go yourself. I shit you not. The man whose company is being investigated for safety violations is now effectively in charge of firing people at the agency doing the investigation. So far, at least 4% of them have been fired. To paraphrase former NHTSA advisor Missy Cummings, Musk's newfound sway could make all Tesla investigations gone, essentially undercutting the agency that's been a thorn in Musk's side for years. Industry analysis Daniel Ives has put it this way, the bromance between Musk and the Trump administration will lead 
to the defanging of a regulatory environment that's been stifling Tesla. So the people that actually want to investigate this stuff to keep the US safe, they are on the chopping block. Meanwhile, what's the president doing? Oh yes, he's literally a used car salesman now. When the Cybertruck I bought for a very special young woman, do you know? I'm sure you've never heard of her, Kai. And uh, she's a great golfer and she puts the clubs in the back and I guess it's a very safe deal. She loves it. You see, he guesses that it's a very safe deal. Just don't drive in fog, okay? Please, or in heavy rain. Just... <sighs> but don't worry, while the swamp at the weird house will keep the orange carnival going, at least we've got people like Mark Rober, an actual engineer who, even inadvertently, is doing the tests and showing the results that the oligarchs don't want you to see. Because when the agencies meant to protect us are being gutted, and when the weird house has become a glorified car lot. Uh, that's the bottom line. I love Tesla. At least we've got independent voices willing to show us the truth. So the next time you see a Tesla on the road, maybe give it some extra space especially if it's foggy or rainy or if there's walls nearby.